Okay, okay, okay. Putting the stuff from the thumbnail back in this bag. And let me get the stuff that I got during the week, which is right here. So Y'all can see that. I just did a little during the week. Hey, Miss Raven. How you doing? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Do any thrifting today? Trying to get the stuff that I bought during the week. I bought a lot today because I changed, I rearranged what I was going to do. I was supposed to pay the credit card, something. I'm going to pay it late because it's already late anyway. Because I wanted to do some thrifting today. Because I'm going to Africa for almost two weeks and I won't be able to thrift. So I don't want to be going through withdrawals. But yeah. So I did. I, I rearranged some financial things so I could thrift today. That credit card can get paid when it get paid. Oh yeah, you got that shop. Yeah, I, I, that was you. I saw your video. I, that's nice. That shop's nice. You got a big. That's a big shop. Hey, Martha. Martha, what's up? What's up? Let me get this other bag. Uh, and then I. So this stuff is the stuff I got. During the week, I just got a dress and some shorts on today. Good blue jean shorts. This is a dress, but it comes down like a dress, but it's like a mini mini dress thing. So I always wear shorts with it. Uh, I put it on crooked. Let me straighten myself out. Straighten my crooked self out. Hey, Helen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, okay, that's fine, Joe. That's fine. So you already done, done a lot of work on your little store, Raven. Where is your where are you at located at? Might have to if you close, might have to go to your second hand store one day. Cause that looks like that's gonna be a pretty huge store. So this is the stuff that I got during the week, during the work week. This these look. Three little bags. You can't see, you probably can't see, you see this bag. But yeah, three little bags. I wasn't shopping much during the week because I decided I was not going to spend much money, like I told y'all. But then I decided that credit card can wait to my next paycheck to get paid. So I did spend money today because I went. I got out of the house early because let me tell y'all what I did. If y'all didn't see it on my Instagram, I didn't realize Salvatore Salvatore Ferragamo. Was, I thought I knew it was an expensive brand, but I didn't think it was that expensive. So I did not listen to my first instinct. I, something told me yesterday when I saw those two pair of patent leather Sa Salvatore Ferragamo uh, flats. They had a rare pair and they had a navy blue pair and they was right beside each other. And they were size eight. <coughs> uh oh, <coughs> I'm gonna need some water. Something told me to get those. It was a little boy. Get those shoes. Get them. Salvatore Fer Ferragamo. I think it's a expensive brand. But me yesterday, because I I had not I hadn't changed my mind about paying the credit card yesterday. I was still gonna pay that credit card. So me yesterday. Oh, he ran in here with a water because he's watching me out alive. My son is not saying nothing. Make sure you thumbs up then if you're watching. <laughs> but anyway. Some told me those shoes were expensive. I didn't think about it. I said, I'm not buying a lot. I'm not doing a lot of thrifting this week because I had not decided like I decided today. I'm going to pay a credit card when I get back. Anyway, so I looked up on Macy's. Like I look, I just researched. I just looked up Salvatore Ferragamo Gamo, and seen that them Pat Metal shoes sell for like $575. $575. A piece. I said, oh my gosh, I did not think them shoes was worth that much money. So I jumped up out of my bed, got myself together, got in my car. You see it on my Instagram. If you look over to my Instagram, la la be so random, same as this. That's my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on there. But you will see that I was in my car this morning trying to drive to the Goodwill all the way across town to see if those two pair of shoes were still there because I got lucky like that before. Went the next day and the stuff was still there because the people don't know, really know what the brands are. But I guess some old woman must have got them. Or somebody who re who resells got them. They didn't, they didn't even last a full day because they was just in there yesterday afternoon right in front of my face. And, and I just I looked at them something said, get them, get them. And I didn't. Next time 
And I always usually listen when it's get them, get them. But I'm trying, you know, I was being cheap and cheap. But today I did some real shopping. Yeah, but I went back today, which was the second video on my Instagram. And they were gone. The space was empty. But the only good news is I did like research afterwards to see how much they actually sell for on Poshmark when they sell, when they're sold. Because I look at what they sold for. They, so they sold between 35 and 70 bucks, which is still great money for one pair of shoes you pay $3.99 for. But I thought they would at least sell for like 100 but they was like between 35 and 65 bucks. Some might have sold for more. But that style that, that they were, they were just some flats. They might have just sold for 40 50 But, I mean, that's still money. Still profit. Hey, big man. What's up? What's up? That still would have been profit, but I missed out. So my lesson to you all is when y'all go thrifting and that little voice in your head says, get it, get it, get it. Especially if you're a reseller, if you're going to resell it. Like Raven, if you're going to do that, yeah, get it. Because I missed out, y'all. I missed out. But I did some good thrifting today in spite of. I was in there for like three hours, just slow, taking my time, looking through the stuff, taking my time. But I'm going to show you the stuff that I got through the week. Let me get to it. I'm talking y'all to them. So I got these. Little cute little Kato. They're just some little capris, like culottes type pants. I like the little button detail. And these are in my size. So I'm, I was going to wear these on my little trip. And that orange tag was half off this week. So tomorrow it'll be 99 cents. But I don't think I'm doing any 99 cents shopping. I don't think. I'm not going to say I'm not. If I do, it's going to be a little bit because I bought mainly most of the stuff I wanted today because I didn't want it to be gone tomorrow. That's the thing about the 99 cent sale. If you don't get there uh, in, when it's when they open up at 11 o'clock, no, they open at 12, but I'm at church at 12. So I can never get there that early. And so by the time I get there, the stuff's picked through. But I still find good stuff. But the stuff that I want, I had to go on and get it half off today because it might not be there tomorrow because i got some good stuff today y'all i'm gonna show y'all and this was this this is still the stuff i got during the week these tommy hill figure shorts got them for myself i'm gonna wear them on a trip i said these look like some good safari some good safari shorts don't they they go with my little safari head i got so i gotta wash all this stuff today i'm gonna be washing clothes cleaning more cleaning up getting my house together before i go and then i got these these i already put these on my uh poshmark these are size two, I think. Yeah. Polo. Y'all know me and my polo, Ralph Lauren. They on my Poshmark. See, I'm sharing the love. Sharing the love. And these are in good shape. And got the little white polo horse on the back. Cute little shorts. They're on my Poshmark. I think I got them for 15 bucks, something like it. $15 for some cute little polo shorts. Excuse me. Size two. Size two. And look what I got for 99 cents, y'all. I said this might be my carry part part of my carry on or carry this my purse. I might carry this my purse on the trip. I don't know. Because I was gonna sell it because I know it would sell just like it. Look at this cute little bag. Look at this cute Tommy Hill figure backpack purse type bag. Look at this. This thing was not even used. Look at the inside. It still has a piece that is connected. Like this little thing still connected. And it's super clean on the inside. Super clean. This thing was somebody bought this and didn't even use it. What's wrong with these people that do that? Who do that? Who does that stuff? Somebody does, and I'm glad they do because I got it for 99 cents. I was shocked they had this marked down to 99 cents because I thought they was gonna count it as a person be 399, but no, it was 99 cents. Yeah, I was so happy. Look at isn't this, isn't this cute? Are you sick again? You in the hospital again, big man? Well, dang, I hope you get better. You got to relax and stuff. Maybe take a break from social media or whatever's bothering you to cause you to be in the hospital so much. But yeah, this Tommy bag, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then next, got this for my son. This is a UK Kentucky Wildcats. Uh, visor because he has dreads so now he he's wearing come back here in metal too i'm sure i got it for a dollar 79 so now he can have a hat to wear to push his dreads back if y'all talking to me it's not moving so i don't know okay there we go 
said prayers for big man. It's moving now. But yeah, I got him that and I got him this at the thrift store. And I think this was a dollar. No, it was a regular price, too, but they only charged me two twenty nine. I think for it. And it's an Anthony Davis UK. Anthony Davis, which he's in pro the pros now. Nike UK, um, Nike UK jersey, which probably is worth way more than freaking two dollars. I well, it was two twenty nine. Then minus the no, it wasn't half off. So I think I paid two twenty nine for this. Two dollars and twenty nine cents for Anthony Davis college jersey. Yeah, I'm surprised he ain't ran in here. He must not be listening. You hear me, Laurel? You still watching me? <laughs> Did you see what I got you? Uh, Anthony Davis UK jersey. Oh, you don't want that? I'm taking it. No, I, do. <laughs> I said that. Uh, yeah, he must not be paying attention. He's eating. That's the one thing he loves to do. Eat you out of house at home. Okay, then got this little. Yeah, I'm not talking today, or it's just stuck. I don't know what's going on. Somebody type something so I can make sure it's not stuck. Just say uh, hi or something simple, just so I can make sure the words are not stuck. Well, it only f says there's five people in here. Uh, Banana Republic, medium, just a little top. How about that to wear myself? Cute little like ruffles, like tuxedo ruffles. Just a simple little top. I almost think I need to restart my live. I don't know. Are y'all in here? Oh, okay, Raven's in here. I was making sure. I'm like, what's going on? Because I know YouTube always does crazy stuff. Thank you, Raven, for that. Okay, there's Helen something. Okay, I see y'all now. I see y'all now. I was making sure that it wasn't just locking up. Look at this bag. How cute is this bag? It's huge too for y'all big purse people. Going on my Poshmark. Nicole, is it Nicole Miller or Jessica Simpson? This is Jessica Simpson. It's a Jessica Simpson bag. Look like nobody used it at all. It's like a huge. Oh, it's buffering, buffering a lot. Darn it. I wish I could see when I'm buffering. Oh, you're making a sandwich. Okay. That buffering stuff is getting real irritating. I think YouTube's doing that crap on purpose because everybody's channels but buffers. I think they're doing that to the smaller channel. I bet they're just doing it to the smaller channels. YouTube has a vendetta against the smaller channels, y'all. Yeah, I thought this was a cute little purse that's going on my posh. Probably for about 10 bucks. Oh, you're not buffering, Raven? Okay, good. Did you refresh your browser, uh, Martha, or try using Chrome, Google Chrome? Because Firefox, for some reason, does buffer a lot. Then I got these shoes. And these are BCBG uh, generation. Just some cute little flats. Cute little flats. I don't know what size these are. I was looking for the size. I don't think I did. I ever, oh, there it is. It's on the side. Oh, gosh. With the little bitty words. Taz 10, these are my size. So I was debating. Look, they go with this shirt, y'all. Don't they? They go with this shirt. Hmm. I could have wore these today. But I was debating if I was going to put these on my Poshmark or I was going to keep them. Does somebody want these BCBG flats? If one of y'all wear size 10 and y'all want it, I'll put them on my Poshmark. I paid $3.99. So y'all let me know if one of y'all want these cute BCBG Generation flats. Because if not, I'm probably going to keep them for myself. Because they're cute. And they're those flexible flats, too. I like the flexible. I don't, I don't even think I have any flexible flats. And then look what I got, y'all. These cute Kate Spades. Rest in peace, Kate Spade. Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin. But yeah. Uh, got these. I'm a glue at glue that part of the leather damp back down and clean them out real good. But I'm like, ooh, K Spade, you know, K Spade's a hot commodity right now since she passed away. So yeah, and they're in pretty good too. Look pretty good. It's a little bit nicked down there, but they're in pretty good condition. Pretty darn good. And these are size 10. My size, but I'm gonna sell them. I'm gonna sell them. 
I was going to clean them out and keep them for myself because I don't have any case spade. I got a case spade uh, bracelet, but I don't have any case spade shoes or anything. Yeah, they're size 10. And that's just normal scratching. This is still a good heel. Still got a lot of good heel left on these things. They just got the normal wear and tear, but great sole still on them. Great heel on them. Cape to the spade. Money, 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 money. And they're like a silver and gold is what I would call them because they're textured and then they have like silver mixed with gold kind of. These are called the, I looked these up. I think these are called the Caroline, Caroline's style of Kate Spade shoes. But look at these shoes. Look, look, even though it's not Kate Spade, but look at this. These shoes, and they don't even, they're not even really the same color, but they go in my mind. I don't know what y'all think. Kind of, sort of, that these go, these shoes go with this purse. So I think it goes perfect. I think it really goes. Even though the shoes are gold, and the purse is like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, taupe, but it has gold accents. But I think this goes nice together. What do y'all think about that? I might take a picture of them together to sell. When I'm, I mean, when I'm on my Poshmark, I might take the picture of that together. I think that goes really good together. I already showed y'all that. And then I got these right here. Those case spades were $3.99 as well. These were $3.99. And these are Michael Kors. So I got some good stuff during the week, too. Got some cute little Michael Kors. Uh, Espirel, what are they? Espadrilles. Espadrilles. Just need to be cleaned up a little bit. They ain't tore. They ain't nothing. Look cute little polka dot. Black and white polka dot espadrilles. We have Michael Core. I think this is, yeah, that little thing says Michael Core, but y'all can't read that little bit thing. And then the bottom has all the MKs, MKs, MKs. Just need to be cleaned on up. Cute little Michael Core espadrilles. And these were, of course, $3.99, but these are size, 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 size. What's the size? I know the size. I just got to find it again. Uh, where is the size? And I saw the size on these when I bought them. I thought. Got to search, search, search for size. I'm thinking they're size six, but let me find it. Oh my gosh, why can't I find the size on these shoes? Anybody know anything about Michael Kors espadrilles where the size? <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. I knew I thought I saw a size. How am I gonna sell a shoe and I don't even know what size it is? It don't say the size on these things nowhere. I mean, this don't make sense. Either that, either I'm just missing it. Cause I thought I saw the size on these when I bought them. But for some reason right now, I can't find the size for nothing. I won't say they like a size six, size, yeah, six, but I got to find the size before I can sell these things. Darn it. How's the size missing? Uh, unless it rubbed off or something, but I thought I saw a size when I bought them, y'all. I don't know how that happens, but yeah, so Michael Kors espadrilles, I don't know what size they are. I'm going to clean them up real good and get somebody to try them on. It's a size six or something because they look like size six to me, but I don't know where the size Sizey is on these things. I don't know. Where would it be? This is crazy, y'all. Unless the size rubbed off. Or I'm just like big time overlooking it because I don't know where the size is. I'm looking on the bottom of the shoe. I don't see a size on the bottom. Hmm. Anybody know where the size would be on these things? Anybody have some micro course espadrilles? That's crazy. Unless they took the size tag out, which is crazy. Maybe that's why they were still on the shelf. Can't even tell you what size they are, y'all. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Can't take it forever on these. Just talking about them shoes. All right. On to the next. On to the next. 
Uh, which shoes would you say was cute? The K Spades or the um, BCBG Generations? Because I told if somebody might want them, I'll put them on. I'll put them on there. Oh yeah, the purse was Jessica Simpson. I'm sorry, I didn't even see what you said. What brand is the big purse? It's Jessica Simpson. I'm over late. I'm probably gonna sell it. If I sell it to one of y'all, I'll sell it for like ten dollars. But if I put it on my posh, I'll probably try to sell it for like twenty. Maybe make fifteen. Who cares? Then I got this, and I was trying to figure out if this is a man. I'm saying this is a man's, and it's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Y'all know me. Yeah, I don't know me. I can't pass up a nice Lauren by Ralph Lauren item. And I'm hoping this is a man's. It looks like a man's to me. That's one thing because Lauren by Ralph Lauren has me, does men's clothing and women's clothing. So I don't know how you're supposed to know the difference when stuff looks like this. It was in the women's section, but they always put men's stuff in the women's section and women's stuff in the men's section. So I'm like, is this a man's or a woman's? Is this a woman's? What you think about this? Out of case spades. Yeah, they're going to be on my posh, MK Space. They size 10. Um, what do y'all think? Is this a man's sweater or a woman's sweater? Because I was going to give it to my nephew. It's a size medium, which makes me think this is a man's sweater because this is a pretty big sweater for a medium if it's a woman's. I wouldn't think this is a medium and a woman's. But, I mean, it could be. But it really looks like a, a man's sweater. But I mean, it could be a woman's too, but I think this is a man's. I'm going to have to look it up to figure it out. I mean, it could be a woman's, but it's a medium. It's big or medium. I think this is a man's. But yeah, it's cute. Isn't it a nice sweater though? It's a really nice sweater. Y'all ain't talking to me today. Y'all busy. I should have come on late. I got y'all cooking and everything. I done interrupt y'all dinner and stuff. And then I got a lot of shirts for my niece. She's bigger than me up top, so she wears an extra large because, yeah, the, uh, her bra size is much bigger than mine. <laughs> so I got her. Hopefully she can fit these. I'm thinking she can because it's just the bra size is bigger. This Tommy little shirt. She's a junior in high school. So she'll like this type stuff. And I got another Tommy Hill figure shirt for and I got her a little champion t-shirt. And all these were $2 each because they're all orange tags. So they were all $2 each. Then I got this for myself. It's the extra large. No, I'm going to sell this on Posh. I got this to sell because it's cute, even though I do love it because it's sequins. And they had another one there today. I thought I did bad this because I was like, I thought I bought that. But it was another one there today. I don't remember what size it was. But this is an extra large black sequence Old Navy tank top. I must have paid. They paid a dollar fifteen for that because it was half off of two twenty nine, and that'll be on my posh. That is. You think it's unisex, Raven? Maybe it is unisex. Yeah, I think it's a unisex. I think either or, but it's a medium. That's why I think it's a man's because it's pretty big, but a woman could wear it too. I'm gonna give it to my nephew. See what it look like on him. Then this is another one for my niece. Yeah, just another Tommy. So she got her little Tommy stuff now. Got her some cute little Tommy to wear, to rock. It'd be cute with that little bag, but I'm keeping that blue jean bag for myself. She said she needs big bags. I gave her that. I gave her a pink Victoria's Secret bag I had thrifted. And then I got this little, little cutting board. I was like, it's a nice cutting board. Nice little cutting board for when I start cooking again, which I don't know. I'm going to start cooking for y'all. I'm going to start cooking again. I'm going to do some more cooking things. But yeah, I got a cute cutting board. Now I don't have to use those little plastic cutting boards. I use those rubber cutting boards. They're easy to store, those plastic and rubber ones I got from Ikea. But I got a nice bamboo cutting board for $1.79. So I'm like, yay, got a nice bamboo cutting board. And then this wallet, which will be on my posh. I looked this wallet brand up, and they they sell for about a hundred something. I think I'm gonna mark clean that mark off on it. It's just a leather wallet. Uh, it says um, cow hat, something grain cow top grain, 
I don't know if y'all can read that, but that's what that says. Top grain cow hat. So it's top grain cow hat. Cute little wallet, billfold, whatever you want to call it. Cute. And it's this brand. Buxton. Buxton. And I think it's like a hundred dollar wallet somewhere around that range close to it. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to look, look, they got a receipt in here, but they buy. What was they buying? Let's see. Credit card purchase. Alley's American Grill. Marriott Hotel. Southfield, Southfield Michigan. <laughs> so they was in Southfield, Michigan with their credit card purchase. At the Marriott. Doing it big at the Marriott. So yeah. This will be for sale on my posh. It's, nice. it's a nice biffo. It's in good shape. Great shape. Great, it was a good fan for a dollar. I guess I probably paid dollar seventy nine. The price is not marked on there, but bill folds are usually dollar seventy nine. I think I asked them. It was either dollar seventy nine or dollar ninety nine. I think it was dollar seventy nine. And I can sell that and make some money off of that. Anybody can take a nice leather bill fold. It looks like I said that brand is not cheap. Okay, now let's get into the goodies I got today. You like, yeah, oversized, oversized sweaters with leggings. It is cute. That is cute. Hey, Angela. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome back, Joan. If you're still in the house. Okay, let's get to this good stuff. That was some good stuff, too, though. I like that stuff. But let's get to the good stuff that I got today. Three bags. Oh, maybe four. But two little bags and two big bags. So I went to two different Goodwills today. Two. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. All right. Now let's see. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Uh-oh. I'm plugging my phone. Oh, it's all right. It'll be all right. Let's get into it. Look at these shoes, y'all. They nine West, and I usually pass up, but if, if it's cute, it don't matter the brand. Nine West sells pretty good on Plash too. I just I pass it up because I want to try to sell stuff higher. But if it's Nine West and cute like these, look at these shoes. Look at these shoes, y'all. Get into these patent leather and cloth Nine West shoes. They've been worn. They're not brand new, but they are beautiful. Maybe been worn a couple times. They ain't been worn too much because the soles are still pretty good. Pretty darn good, but they are adorable. Adorable. They will be on my posh. I did see one little flaw on them, and that's the dots are not right here for some reason. I don't know if these dots come off or they just miss the dots, but it's not torn. The dots are just missing in that one little spot, and then a little bit on here, the back of the heel, the dots are missing. But I don't care. These are adorable. Who's going to be looking at your shoe that hard? They'll think it's a design or something. Adorable. Adorable. Regular. $34.97. That's time mark. And then the original price is $69.94. Yeah. Cute. Little Nine West. For $3.99. Y'all see my price tag in there? Yeah. Got them for $3.99. And then... I got some times, y'all. I got some times. They're not my size. Did I tell you what size these were? These Nine West? Because they're going on my posh. Seven and a half. So these cute little Nine West patent leather cloth shoes are size seven and a half. And they will be on my posh. And look at these times. They're not my size, but look at them. I got some times. They're going on the posh. They're going on the posh. Cute little times, cute, cute, cute. Just gotta clean the area where the toe prints. <laughs> but it's really somebody's put pressed down in them or they're made like that. I don't know, but they're adorable. Adorable. And they're going on my posh. And they're size six and a half. Tom's, I think these will sell fast. So yeah. Those. And this is bag is mixed with. Let me try to get the women's stuff out first. Got men's stuff in there too. This 
is for resale. It's a small top. Look at this Versace like top, but it's from the limited. And it's size small. That will be on my posh. So that's the front of the top. And then this is the back of the top. And I just think it's cute. It's like a teal green and gold and brown. Just it reminded me of Versace stuff. So I was like, oh, this is the Versace esque top. And, or in um, like a scarf or something. That's what it reminds me of. And it's nice and flowy. It's just cute. Little top from the limited. Pay dollar fifteen. Then I got this for me. <laughs> I might wear this when I go to Amsterdam just so you can see this. It says caution, high maintenance. So they got all the little Disney princesses on there. Not all of them, but most of them. Some of them. High maintenance. See, I thought I just thought it was funny. It was a dollar fifteen. Y'all know me and my cartoon characters and stuff too, but it, I like what the saying, caution, high maintenance. Hey, can be, can be. I might wear that at Amsterdam because y'all already a little mad at me. He already a little mad at me, but he'd be happy when you see what I thrifted for him. And look at this dress, y'all. Look at this. New with tags. Beautiful. It's mine. It's mine. I was debating whether to sell it or not, but uh, it's mine. It's mine. I'm keeping this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dress. How Do y'all see this dress? New with tags. Style we and it's Miss, Miss Look. I looked this brand up, and this style dress will sell for about 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks. Because the price tag's not on it. It's just tags, but it doesn't have the price on it. So I had to look it up to see the price. But I was so like, should I keep it or should I sell it? But I want this dress. Look at this dress. It is so cute. And it's just polyester, but it's a beautiful, beautiful. Y'all know I love flowers. And all these flowers on this dress. And then it's like the colors. It's just adorable. It's an adorable lightweight. It's lightweight, too, because it's just polyester. But it's just cute. Cute. I love this dress. I'm keeping it. And I hate to I hate when I have to keep stuff that's new with tags because it probably would sell for at least about 30 bucks, if not more, but I'm keeping it. Because it's adorable. Uh, let me put it back in the bag. Put it back in the bag. Put it back in the bag. Okay. And then I got this dress. I think I'm gonna sell this one. It's a Nicole Miller dress. It's very different. That's why I got it. It was regular price. So this was $5.29. This was not half off. But that Miss Look dress, was that orange? That was regular price too. So that was $5.29 too. Because it was orange Texas half off. But I got it because this is silk. This this part here is silk. And it goes all the way down. And then that's the, I guess, mini skirt part. It has an actual slip on the inside too. Because I feel it now. See, it even has, yeah. Got a little slip on the inside. So, you, yeah, you got yourself together with this Nicole Miller dress. Got a little sequin sleeve. And then this just goes over your shoulder. I said, well, it's just different. I bet it look real cute on. I bet this look just, so you call this an LBD, little black dress. Look cute LBD. I bet it would be very cute on. Put you some nice black knee boots on. Mm -mm. Or you could put you some nice gold boots or gold shoes on. Get you some gold accessories or silver. Silver accessory, silver shoes. Be sharp. Be sharp because it's form fitting. This part is form fitting. And then the silk part, of course, is flowy. So it's almost like you got a scarf around one of your shoulders. Then you got this little cute party over here. You got the party over here on the side with the sequins. So it's a very cute Nicole Miller dress that will be on my posh. It's a size medium, I think. That's why I debated. Yes, yeah, a medium because I was going to keep it. I was going to, because I bet this would really be cute on, but I'm going to give it on up. I'm going to go on and sell it. I'm going to go on and sell it. I keep putting this on stuff on the floor instead of putting it back in the bag. Okay. And then I got these. Look at these, y'all. My first, my very first anthropology find. I've been looking for anthropology, and I could not find it. Any anthropology that I thought was cute. I don't think I even found any, but I finally got my first anthropology find. So I'm hype about that. These are size eight. 
and look at them. They're just they're different. And they got this little what, leather or pleather trim around the pockets, which is cute, cute. Look like something that would be a Zara. And then a whole bunch of little flowers. This looks like perfect colors for fall. Perfect colors for fall. And they're like pedal pushes. I guess they come all the way down to you. What size? Are these petites? No, they're just size eight. They're not petites. Size eight. And they're like, look like nobody wore these at all. They're in great shape. So these will be on my Poshmark for sale, size eight, Anthropology. Because I think this is one of the brands that really sell good and they, they don't sell cheap. Because you get these at, I guess the store is Anthropology. But yeah, I finally found some Anthropology. So I was so excited about that. Y'all must be eating some good food because y'all not talking to me. I wish I had some of y'all food. My son, my son's cooking something right now. Smell good. I don't know what he's cooking. Oh, I said I was gonna stick to the women's stuff, but okay. I think that's all the women's stuff in that bag. And now, let me tell y'all a little story about this. Uh, oh, you just finished eating what you have, Martha. You know, sitting here listening to all the good food y'all done ate. And Raven's over here having a sandwich. I ain't ate nothing today because I ain't really, I don't really be getting that hungry. I'm going to eat some ice cream. <laughs> I can buy me some little m, &M ice cream sandwiches from Aldi. I might eat some of whatever it is he's eating because that smells good. I don't know what he's eating. Oh, you had Japanese steakhouse. Man, you was eating good. She, you was eating good. What was it? Leftovers? Because I didn't think they delivered. Y'all got a Japanese steakhouse that delivers all the bars. You got to go there and sit. Most of them are hibachi. Okay. The story. There's a story behind this dress. That's why I put this in the beginning. There's a big story behind this dress. This is a limited new tag dress. It is my size. It's a medium. So I'm debating whether I'm going to sell it or put it on posh. I'm debating because it's beautiful. It's yellow and I've been wanting some yellow stuff. And y'all, I seen this yellow trench coat today, but I don't want to pay six something, six fifty nine dollars for it because that's how much jackets are. I want it to be half off. If it's half off this week, I'm getting it. It was in the men's section too, but it's a woman's coat. It's adorable. It's bright yellow. It's a trench. Oh my gosh. If I can get that, I can't wait to show it to y'all. So I'm hoping that green tags are half off this week when I go Monday because yeah, it was a green tag. They had a lot of good stuff in green tags. But watch blue tags be half off this week. But I'm hoping green tags are half off this week. I mean, Monday. Starting Monday. We'll see. Because I hear that. I look like somebody hit. I think people have stuff when they take women's clothes and put them in the men's section. That's why I'm thinking. Because it was a coat. A coat shouldn't have been over with the men's shirts or pants. So I think somebody hid that. So I, I moved it in a different spot so they wouldn't be able to get nowhere it was. Because it's cute and I don't want to pay six fifty nine dollars for it. I want to pay $3.20 for it. But this, yeah, I got this this dress. I don't think the price, regular price is on it, but you know, it's an online exclusive is what it says. But you know, this is the limited, so you know it wasn't cheap and it got a little cute little gold uh, belt, gold with yellow on the side belt that goes with it. It's adorable. And then it has the gold zipper that goes all the way down almost to blow your hips. But it's cute, 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 cute. So I'm debating if this is going on posh or if this is going on me. Because <laughs> I love these style dresses. And it's just adorable. Happy birthday to who? Whose birthday? 18th birthday when you had a party. Well, happy birthday to your granddaughter at the Jap oh, y'all had it at the Japanese steakhouse. 18. My son's 18. But the story behind this dress was. It, it was a little lady, a little Hispanic lady, and her friends, they were looking at the dresses. I don't know if they were had, had somewhere to go because she was showing her the dress. She was showing them the dress. She was like, um, oh, she's tall, too. Oh, we're going to have to hook them up. <laughs> going to have to hook them on up. But uh, she was showing her friends, and I was like, oh, that's a limit. Does that tag say the limited a limited dress, new with tags. She's showing her friends. They was like, eh, eh. they wasn't, they were speaking in Spanish. And I was like, I hope she puts that dress back. I hope she puts that dress back. I hope she puts that dress back. <laughs> and she put it down. She put it on the rack. 
and she put it on the rack, and she seen me right there looking at the dresses. Shoot, she put that dress back. I snatched that dress up so quick and threw it in my this dress up so quick and threw it in my buggy. And she looked like she came back looking for it. She came back down that way looking at the dresses, like where where did that dress go? You act like you didn't want it. You gonna put it back on the rack? I mean, she put it back on the rack twice. You can you cannot second guess when you're thrifting. No second guessing in this game, y'all. Y'all gotta be serious about this stuff. I got I took my little cart and rolled on. I think she was looking hard for the. She was looking hard for this dress. Like, why would you not get it? You you was second guessing yourself, and I got it now. And I'm probably gonna keep it for myself. I think I really am. I don't know. I might try it on to see how it fits, and that's how I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna keep it for myself or if I'm gonna sell it. But I've been wanting like some yellow. I, I know I'm loving yellow right now in this dress. It's adorable. So y'all might see this in my video where I pack to go to Africa. <laughs> Since we, it's a church event. You have me a little cute little yellow. Mm -hmm. she, she, you snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose. Because that's probably a hundred something dollar dress. New with tags. Might be more than that. Because the limited is a store I don't even go in no more. I used to just go in and look. I don't even go in and look. But look at this. Isn't this cute? Look at this skirt, y'all. Look at it. How cute is this skirt? It's like, what do they call it? Crepe? Is that what they call it? They got a slip made under it. But how cute. This little silver skirt. Like a princess skirt. It's a size 10, which is my size. But I was going to put it on my posh. Posh, posh, posh is tablets, tablets, and look at the price of this. The regular price is one forty nine. Sale price was one twenty four, and then the final sale price was seventy three. I think seventy three ninety nine. So yeah, that's why I snatched this up. I'm like what? And it was cute, but I'm like what? So I paid regular price, which was four dollars three ninety nine, because it was it does not have a tag at all. Does not have a color tag when they don't have any color tag? They charge you regular price. I was hoping it had an orange tag too, but it didn't have no color tag. So I paid the three ninety nine for it. But it's adorable. How adorable is that? So I'm not gonna be selfish. I am gonna put this on my posh. It might not stay on there too long. If it don't sell fast, it might not stay on there too long. It might be going right to my closet because it's adorable. Especially like for the holidays around Christmas time and stuff, the New Year's, nice little shiny uh, silver skirt. You be you can twirl. That's one of those skirts you can do that little Mar Marilyn Monroe twirl and it'll flow around. Yeah, this is adorable, y'all. Adorable. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So that yeah was new with tags, hundred and something dollar skirt. That's what y'all saw in the thumbnail. Then what I got right here is this men's. No, this is mine. Got me some active wear, y'all. Got me some Nike dry fit. Got me some pink. They was right beside each other, too. Uh, and some, I guess, turquoise, you call it. Turquoise, royal blue kind of, more turquoise. So I got me two pair of Nike draft fit uh, pants. I'm going to uh, do some exercise because I need to. I'm going to have to do some exercise for Jamaica. Probably won't be going there till November, December, but hey, got my Nike draft fits from the drift store. Those wasn't half off. But I got them because they Nike draft fit. Shoot, y'all know how much Nike draft fit costs in the store. It ain't cheap. And these things are like the person must not even want. They must just took tags off them things and it's not even worn because they don't look like they've been washed or, or don't stink. They ain't stinky. They don't look like they've been worn at all. They don't feel like they've been worn. You can tell the difference in stuff. So yeah, got another little bag of Lini. This is a nice sturdy bag. Bag of are not that cheap either. This bag probably like a $70 bag. I didn't look it up. But I think it's probably about $70, $80 bag. Might be more than that. But it's a great uh, travel bag. So I don't know if I'm going to take this as my travel bag because it has so many pockets. Look, it has this for your phones. And you got this pocket. And you got this pocket. And then it flips up. And then you got, of course, that's the inside of the purse with all that. Look at all that in there. And then you got that pocket. And then it's another one somewhere. Let me see. Where's the other one? On the back, I think. Oh, yeah, the back opens up. I already showed y'all that part, I think. Yeah, I already showed y'all. No, I didn't. The back opens up, too. So you get not only do you get the back that opens up and has pockets and stuff in it. And then you got the front that has all this and that. So I think I'm going to 
keep this for travel. I might try to save it, but this bag is a good, good bag for travel. It has so many hidden secrets. So I don't know if I'm selling on my posh or if I'm going to take it uh, on my trip and then come back and sell it on my posh. I'll probably take it on my trip and then sell it on my posh when I come back because I won't have no use for it uh, when I come back. But I don't really like the color of it. It's like a dark, dark gray and red, reddish orange or red maroon. It's not really ugly. It's just a really, very sturdy bag. And this would be good for to keep the pickpocketers away because you got so many hidden pockets you can put your stuff in. So they'll be out there digging in these pockets and not finding nothing while your stuff is on the inside in one of the hidden pockets. So yeah, I got that bag of leaning. And then I got this purse, Olivia and Joy, which uh, these, these sell on Poshmark for pretty good. Like I've seen somebody selling them for $90. $50, $60, I'll pay $3.99 for it, but this is cute. So this will be on my posh. Miss Olivia and Joy. Just a cute Olivia Joy bag. The inside is fine. Just fine, just fine. I'm trying to let y'all see the lighting sucks. But the inside is fine. And the hardware is fine. Nice and golden. In great shape. The leather is perfect. Soft leather. So is this a cute little, cute little stylish little purse? Yeah, yeah, Martha. I got some good purses this time. Look at cute little stylish little purse. It's gonna be on my posh, y'all. And then look what I got, y'all. Old school coach wallet. Look at this coach wallet. It's real. This is not fake. This is a real coach wallet. I remember this brand. I think my friend has because she's a coach fiend. She, had, she probably still has it or why it like is. But it was a it was a dollar seventy nine. I'm like, wow, they did not mark this, and I was so glad they didn't get a. Uh oh, is that a credit card? Somebody got a credit card. Uh oh, what we got in here? Passport services. Lord, they left all their business in here, y'all. They didn't leave me no money though. BHG Rewards, my BHG Rewards.com. I'm going to see if there's a reward on there. What's this? Oh, I got some stack. I got blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. <laughs> That's some Jamaican song. I say, but look, I got some stamps. I got some free forever stamps. Oh, shoot. About to be sending some people some stuff. I got some free forever stamps. I like the hitting the lick, finding something secret that you just don't know about. That's the, the Goodwill Greats. The Goodwill Greats. Look at that. There's a lot of stamps on here, too. What is that? Nine stamps. Nine stamps for free. Now, I'm going to check out this reward card, see if anything's on it. I'm going to call the number. It might be something on there. I got that somebody's passport insurance card, though. That's kind of bad. They might need that. I'm gonna throw that away. And it says passport expiration date 4 7 18. Also, it's expired. That's why they left it in there. Well, y'all shouldn't have left your insurance card in your little coach bag. What else we got in this coach wallet? I won't find some money. Can't even find no money. Ain't no money in it. Ain't no money, honey. Ain't no money. But yeah, this is real. Look at this leather. This I know it's real. Real Coach Wallet. Coach Wallet, $1.79. Who gets a Coach Wallet for $1.79? Me. I do. I do. And I think I'm going to keep it for myself because it's adorable. It's just a simple black wallet that you can always use. Yeah. I think it's mine, 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 mine. Go through my Fanta Nemos because, yeah, I'm keeping this. Keeping it, keeping it, keeping it. Yes. Adorable. And I, I said it, it really goes great with this purse, even though it's coaching. This is Olivia and Joy. Like, it, it really goes good with that. Put this crap. I don't know where I put it somewhere. All right. And then I got... What's my other food? What people doing? Martha's talking to me. Martha always talks to me. <laughs> Y'all eating. Y'all sitting there eating and watching me. They're, these little Timberland shoes, I'm going to clean them up real good. The Timberland sandals. 
for a little boy, I guess. Well, I guess a little girl could wear them too, but they little boys. Timberland sandals. It was, I guess, two twenty nine. Because look here, shoes are supposed to be two twenty nine, but they don't have a price on these tags. So hopefully, she charged me two twenty nine, not three ninety nine. I should have paid attention because I really didn't. But look at these, y'all. Look at these little. Look at these. Look at these little Michael Core. These are little Michael Core. Look here. Ugh, I wish I could see. Yeah. Focus, focus, focus. I'm trying to make it focus. They Michael Kors. Y'all can see on the bottom. Little cute. I'm going to clean them up real good. I'm going to give them to Zane's sister. They would be so cute on her. So, yeah, she got her some Michael Kors leather. Little kicks, little hat tops, little black and gold. Black, gold, and white. Michael Kors. Look cute, 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 adorable hat tops. Just need to be cleaned off. So, I'm going yeah, to give them to Zane's sister. I paid, I'm hoping $229 for these. I need to look at my receipt because these are IKEA shoes and they're supposed to charge me $229 for them. Not the uh, grown up price. <laughs> then I got this. Look at this. Isn't this cute? Victoria's Secret it says London, New York, Paris. It's a, like a tote, but a slim tote, but it has a leather strap. I've never seen a Victoria's Secret purse. Uh, tote with a leather strap, then it has the gold accents. Y'all know I love gold and silver accents. Said so you bought a purse thrifting years ago and found fifty dollar gift card to J.C. Penny. Wow! Right before school, tarting that's a blessing. Hey, Nana's, hey, Nana's treasures. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That is a blessing. But this is cute. It's going on my posh. This is different. It's just a Victoria's Secret tote. Don't look like the person used it at all. I always find I wish it still had tags on it because, yeah, it's you can't see it's black, but yeah, it was not used. It's no way it was. Still got the little silicone silicone pack in there, but yeah, that's going on there. This is a really cute tote, I think. And look at these, y'all. Look at these. I said, I'm gonna have to give these to some little kids to my church. These was 59 cents, but they're adorable. Look at these. How adorable are these bookmarks? Say Guatemala. I guess somebody must have went to Guatemala and bought them as souvenirs, and maybe they bought too many, so they thrifted them, or they got them as a souvenir from somebody, and they thrifted it, but I don't know. They are not. They look like somebody got them brand new and just didn't want them no more, but these are some cute bookmarks. Adorable. Probably give one to my niece and then one to my god niece, because they they still like this type stuff. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Look at these little people. How cute are these little people? How cute. Got a little head on. This one got a little snow cap on. They both got little snow caps on, but how cute are these bookmarks that I got for 59 cents? They're adorable. They're adorable. Adorable. Yeah, I know I get excited about silly stuff, but those bookmarks are so unique. They're very unique. I bet their friends will say, where y'all get those at? I want some of those. They said Guatemala. You got to go Guatemala and get you some or get lucky at the thrift store. Nana, did you see my coach wallet that I got? Yeah, look at that. This is real. It had some stamps in it. Got me some forever stamps in there. And a rewards card. I don't know if you got money on a rewards card, but yeah, this is a real authentic coach wallet for dollar seventy-nine cent. Dollar seventy-nine was a heck of a fan. Guatemala is your Guatemala is your granddaughter's middle name, or does somebody else say that? Or your what's your middle your granddaughter's middle name? Unique. I know it ain't no Guatemala. Yeah, y'all didn't name her after no country. <laughs> now let's get to the uh men's fashion. Got a lot of men's fashion. Cause you know I can't go to Amsterdam and meet up with my 
I'm gonna say boo. <laughs> he's mad at me right now, but yeah, he's at my boo. Been four years without giving him some thrift treasures. Got to give him some thrift treasures. So, got him a little nice to keep him warm in the winter time. Just a nice little uh, American Eagle. Yeah, American Eagle Outfitters. Little, what you call it, long john material top. Nice, comfortable form. He wear that. I had to stick to his style. He likes stuff like fitted to him, but it, or just to fit. He don't like stuff oversized because he's African. So Africans usually like stuff to fit. He's from Cameroon, but he lives in Belgium. And he's coming down to Amsterdam to meet up. We got Banana Republic, another little long john uh, shirt, t-shirt, dress. I mean, it's just a shirt. They're made out of the same long john material. Two dollars. Both they was two dollars each because they was half off. And then got them this. This is a Columbia. This Columbia stuff I'm showing y'all. I think somebody was trying to hide it because they had it all. It was all together. And it's all half off. Oh, this wasn't. This wasn't half off. I paid regular price for that. I thought this was half off too. Blood. That must be the only one I paid regular price for, just because I liked it. Just a simple T-shirt, Columbia T-shirt. It says Columbia right there, and it's like this is a gray T-shirt. Something simple he would like, and got him polo tee, a little V-neck polo. Y'all know I had to get him with the polo too, with the Ralph Lauren polo. You know, got to get him right too. Got to get him right. So, got him that, the V-neck. And then I got him this. This is the Columbia stuff that I think somebody was trying to have. Look, this is the orange tag, so it was $2. Two dollars for this weather, you know they do the the one. Do you know this Columbia stuff is not cheap? Did with the stuff? Mm -mm. What is it called? Columbia? I don't know if it's drafted like Nike or what climate control or whatever it's called. Yeah, there it goes. It says on the sleeve it is Omni Heat, Omni Heat by Columbia. So he would need stuff like this in the winter because he plays soccer. He plays soccer, so he would be freezing. So this keep this will keep him warm in the winter time. So he doesn't just freeze. He can wear that. He could probably wear this underneath his uniform because it's like fitted, fitted to his skin. So he could wear that underneath his uniform. Keep him warm in the winter time. And the pants to go with it. Look, the pants to go with it, y'all. For two dollars, so I got that whole set for four dollars, and y'all know this stuff is not cheap. And it's the kind you just put on. He can put them on underneath his soccer shorts, underneath his uniform, so he can be warm in the winter time. Make your own heat. That's what they are. Omni Heat by Columbia. That was a great score right there. Four dollars for Columbia Omni Heat set. Great score. So I think that's all of his stuff. Then get to this other bag. This last little bag. Get to this left. Told y'all I had a lot of stuff. It says huge hole. So this is the last little bag. It ain't little. Last big bag. Um, Got this for my son. He probably come running back here now unless he's watching the video. Got him this Nautica button down. $2.00. Cause it's orange tag. I got him some regular price stuff too. Spoil. He'll be getting the job soon. Cause I finally got his papers at a social security card and birth certificate. So he's going to get his passport and he's going to get a job too. We got him a Tommy shirt. If he wants it, if he don't want it, then I'm going to um, put it on posh, but he loves Tommy. So he's going to, he's going to want it. Plus it's this orange color that he's into right now. So he's going to be styling. What do you say all right now about me getting that stuff for my boo? Yeah, we got to have him looking right. I can't have him freezing in the wintertime. Got to share the thrifted love. She shared the thrifted love. And I got these for me. These are some pajamas, some Nautica pajama pants. 
I already had y'all seen I had those Michael Core pajama pants in one of my other videos. So I'm getting my pajamas for me to wear over and after. Cause I want I think I want to wear pants because I don't want none of the mosquitoes to be biting me. It depends on how hot it is in the room. But hopefully it's nice and air conditioned. And this pajama set, Tommy Hilfiger pajama set. Cute little pajama set. And yeah, the little symbol on the bottom of it. But it's just pajamas, so who cares? And the top goes to it. That's the upside down, upside down. This is the top that goes to it. So I'm going to be wearing those two on my trip. My little Tommy here figure pajama set. So I can talk to y'all when I'm probably in my pajamas and stuff. If I feel like vlogging or if y'all hear some crazy noises outside. Because this is Africa. I'm probably going to hear some crazy noises. Because I heard crazy noises in Australia. I went outside at 5 o'clock in the morning. Because them birds will wake you up every morning in Australia. They And the other animals just singing. It's like they singing a song. Kuna Matata. <laughs> Akuna Matata. <laughs> Kuna Matata. And this, oh, this is for the boo too. A little nice Calvin Klein sweater. Nice little Calvin Klein sweater. Yeah, like it too. Then I got this, either going to be on my posh or I got it for my son, but if he don't like it, it's going to be on my posh. It's an academic shirt, new with tags, $44, just a simple army color, olive green and brown, um, olive green, gray and white, plaid, uh, academics shop with these little shoulders like that. It says academics on the back, established 1999, but it's new with tags, so it's, if my son don't want it, I'm going to sell it, but I think he'll probably want it. I was just iffy about the color. And then this is for him. That was $2 too. But this was not. This was $4. This was $3.99. But I couldn't wait for this to go half off because it would be gone. Look at this. Cute. Blue and yellow and white. Tom, uh, polo top. It would have been gone. As soon as it went to half off, it would have been gone. So I had to grab it on up. So I didn't want to miss out on that. So I got that from my son. He's probably going to watch it and wear this. It got a drag clean tag on it, so knowing him, he won't even watch it. And look at these. Look what I got here, y'all. Going on my Poshmark. These are Kohan leather boots. So they got like a, ten, you know, Kohan makes their boots with these like tennis shoe kind of sole. Not really tennis shoe, but tennis shoe look. But yeah, these are nice, sturdy Kohan boots. And then we got a soft interior for your feet to be comfortable in. But yeah, these will be on my Poshmark, these Kohan boots. I had to look hard to see the name on them, but I seen that Nike, because you know Kohan is by Nike. So I saw Nike Air on the bottom, I think, somewhere. It's on the bottom somewhere. But look at that little braided detail underneath. Like they really went into really a lot of detail to do that little leather braided detail underneath. Yeah, the Nike Air is over here on the side. And that's when I knew. Or Nike Elite, what does it say? Nike Air. And that's why I knew it was Kohan, because I couldn't hardly read it on the inside, but you can once you look. But yeah, got these. These are going on my posh. These are size eight and a half. So size eight and a half, Kohans, y'all. And they zip and they strap. I mean, they got these little things, so that's how they look on the side. I think they're really cute, little sturdy winter boots. So you don't fall and bust your head. You don't have to wear them little skinny heels all the time. So yeah. Even going on my posh. Then I got this. This is going to go on my posh. I was going to keep it. But I think I'm going to put it on my posh. This is a reversible. Tommy is fleece on one side and sweater material on the other side. Or it's really like a real fleece. A rib fleece on this side and then a regular fleece on this side, but it's reversible. Reversible Tommy Hill figure fleece. How cute is this? How cute is this? Cute little details and stuff. And yeah, so it has the sign. That's how I knew it was reversible because it has a symbol on both sides. On the red side, well, this red side, so you can have it like you can wear it like this on the blue side. Oh, 
or if you want to be bright one bright or you're feeling about red or Christmas time or something, turn it on the inside out. Turn it on the inside out. And you got a red and blue lined Tommy Hill figure fleece. So you can have a rib navy blue fleece or a red and blue Tommy Hill figure fleece. This is neat. This is really nice. I think this would be a good sale on my posh. And it's size. What size is it? Size, size, size. The size I think was in the pocket since it's reversible. Um, I think it was in the pocket somewhere. That's what the trick is, finding the size. On, oh, there it is. No, it ain't. That's just a tag. Uh, where's the size? I have to find it. Where is the size on you? So it doesn't have pockets on the red side on this side. What about this one? Oh, it has this pocket. So that's the only pocket on the red side is this one. I think the size was inside of here. No. It's not. Oh, but this pocket. Oh, the pocket zips. Oh, when you zip this pocket up, then it closes the this pocket. <laughs> this thing got a lot of stuff because if you open this pocket, then that, the red pocket would be open. So you got to make sure you zip this pocket up so that it closes that the red pocket. But the size was in here. Let me find it because I saw it. It's just hidden from where it's reversible. You got to search for the size. Um, it was in one of these pockets. And I thought it was in one of these pockets. Now I can't find it. It's got to be like a large. It's like a large. I'm going to find that size, y'all. I'm apologizing. I'm just doing bad with finding sizes and stuff today. Let me turn it back out to the color it was to see if I can find the size quicker. Because that's how I did find the size. I thought I found the size anyway. Maybe I didn't. I just knew it was a pretty big. I would say it's a large. That's what I would say. But we're going to search to see if there's a tag in here with a size, which it should be. Eh. Why stuff have to be so difficult today? Well, I don't fight with it enough. I'm going to say it's a large. I'll find out eventually, but today don't look like the day that I'm going to find out because <laughs> it's just hidden. The size is hidden. I wish it would be up on the neck somewhere, but it's not. It is not. And I don't buy reversible stuff often, so I don't know where they had to say. I would think the pockets. That's what I would think, but the only thing in the pocket is this thing, and that, does, that says 0804. It does not have a size on it unless they tore, cut the part of the tag that had the size. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out, though, so I can sell this thing on Poshmark. Because you got to know the size of the stuff. You can't just sell stuff without knowing the size. Dang, gone it. Why does this have to be a problem? Why can't I just find the size? It's irritate me, y'all. That just sucks. That just really, 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 really sucks that I can't find the size. I'm going to say it's a large shoe. I'm going to find the size eventually. It's on this thing somewhere. It got to be. Unless they cut cut it off. They could have done that since it's reversible. Uh, okay. And then I got. Oh, uh, this is for the boot too. Got him one more thing. He loves Adidas. Got these Adidas joggers. He can wear those in the winter time or when he's running or when he's practicing. One of the two. But yeah. Got them those. I'm trying to find where the Adidas it says they're climate climate warm. Climate warm. Yeah, so they keep you warm and then you got the all this right there. The Adidas symbols like yeah. So he'll be a happy camper when he opens that little diesel backpack that I got him and sees this nice stuff in there. 
that I thrifted and I have to tell him about thrifting. I can tell thrifting story. Well, I'm sure he might watch my videos, but he probably don't because they you know they got to pay for their internet connection separately over in Europe. They don't, you know, pay $40 a month or something. I think you can, but it's not as cheap as what ours is. But that's everything, y'all. That is everything. We finished it all. And I hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all saw some nice stuff. Hope y'all gonna check out my Poshmark, Lala B42. Lala, the letter B42 all together. At Lala B42, that's my Poshmark. Check it out. Because this stuff, I'm gonna try to get this stuff up before I leave. All the stuff that I'm selling, I'm gonna try to get up before I leave Tuesday night. Because I leave Tuesday night and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a what's in my suitcase video, but it might not be up before I leave. I don't know. But yeah, these are gonna be in my suitcase and my carry on, my snacks. You got to have snacks so you can have something to eat in between the mo the meals and stuff on the plane. I like them little airplane meals. When you go on them international flights, they give you some good little meals. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Martha. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. How it how wore me out. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I ain't had a, long, a big haul like that in a while because I had been slacking, but I wasn't trying to spend like that. But when I decided I'm going to pay that credit card when I get back. And I went on spent. It is what it is. So I hope y'all yeah, all enjoyed it. Thank you, Martha, because I don't know if I'll be back on before Tuesday night. I might not. So thank you for having, wishing me a blessed trip. Uh, thank you. Yeah, stay prayed up. Pray for me. Pray for our safe travels. Me, my apostle, and the other church member that we have safe travels. And I go to a funeral Monday, which sucks. But yeah. Well, I told y'all that nice pastor lady passed away this week, so we got to go to her. Got to go to her funeral. I'm gonna go on my lunch break from work Monday. Go to her funeral. I don't like funerals at all, but who does? Some people do like funerals. But I don't know why. I know people just go to everybody's funeral. Like that woman on the Good Times, they went to everybody's funeral in the world to think they knew everybody. But I don't like funerals. Thank you, Raven. I plan on having fun. I plan on it. I hope I can do some lives while I'm there. I hope I can figure out a way to get an uh, internet connection or hope I have an internet connection because, you know, in Africa, it's not that easy. And in Amsterdam, I don't know if I'll have a Wi-Fi card or have an internet connection or if I'll buy one because I'm only going to be in Amsterdam for eight hours. So I don't think I'll need to buy a card unless I'm just going to use it up in that eight hours. So the Amsterdam footage might not be live either. But if they have a little cheap card that I can use, I might do a little bit. I might buy a ten dog ten dollar internet card. But I, no, I don't have an unlocked phone. You gotta have an unlocked phone. I'm gonna see if that tablet takes SIM cards, which I think it does. I'm not sure if the tablet my son got me media card, media player. If it takes SIMs, then I might get a SIM and put it in there. I don't know how that'll work, but we will see. Hopefully, I can do some lives for y'all. Hopefully, I can get a little cheap. A card at the airport in Amsterdam and put it in there and do a little bit of live. But if, if it is live, it probably would be more on my Instagram. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I already have Instagram app on my phone. So not on my phone, on my phone, but I'm not going to put the SIM card in my phone. I already have the Instagram app. I don't have it on that, that yet, but I'm going to put it on there. So if I do go live while I'm in Amsterdam and Africa, it'll probably be on Instagram. I may try to do it on YouTube. It just depends on how the connections are going and what I can do. We'll see. We will see, but I'll leave Tuesday night. So I probably won't be talking to y'all until I'm either there or till I'm back. So we shall see what it is. Hopefully I can talk to y'all while I'm there. I won't be back till the 29th, real late at night. So I would rather just say the 30th because yeah, I won't be back to real late at night on the 29th. But I hope that it is a blessed trip. I hope that it is also fun at the same time. And I hope that it's a lot of souls won over to Jesus at this conference that we're going to. And I hope it is just wonderful. Maybe people will be healed. Maybe people will just be set free from demons. And all that. it might just be some nice, awesome stuff. And I just want to see the beauty of Africa for the first time in my life. It's going to be awesome. I want to see the animals. I want to see it all. I want to see the people, the animals, the the, the markets, the food, the everything. I want to see everything in Amsterdam. I want to just see what I can see because Amsterdam is just beautiful. Really just want to take a boat ride through the city in Amsterdam. So hopefully we can do that, take a boat ride through the city. So what y'all don't see live, y'all will see in the vlog because I will be filming it. But if y'all can't see it live, I will be putting up vlogs. So if I have internet connection, then I will 
at least try to put up the vlogs when I get back to the house that I stay at, that we stay at or something and get those put up on a YouTube and stuff. So we'll see how it goes and I will see y'all good people when I get back. If I don't get to see y'all while I'm there. Thank y'all for watching and subscribe, subscribe. If you haven't, tell your friends, subscribe, your cousin, your mama, your auntie, your brother, your sister, everybody you know, tell them to go and subscribe and click that button right there. Click, 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 click. And got some great travel vlogs. It's going to be coming for y'all. So y'all better be looking out for them. And I will see y'all when I get back. And I will see y'all in the travel vlogs. Even though I won't be live, I'll still, y'all see me. <laughs> and uh, thank y'all, thank y'all. Thank y'all for watching and putting up with my crazy self. And y'all might get a glimpse of the boo. A glimpse. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm probably going to blur on that, though. I told you I'm going to blur his face probably. But we'll see. It might be a quick, quick. Then I won't blur it. But yeah, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up the video, click the bell down there for notifications of new uploads. And I will see y'all. <laughs> Look at Martha. Martha, you nosy. <laughs> see y'all when I get back. Love y'all, Team Random. Bye. Be blessed and be a blessing. <laughs>